When this Dominican church was being built in the 19th century, many Irish nuns were leaving to teach in the United States. Today, that missionary path is being reversed with the arrival of American nuns in Limerick. When the Bishop of Limerick, Bishop Brendan Leahy, wrote to our Prioress General, Mother Anne Marie, and invited our sisters to come to live um, in the diocese and serve the diocese. Um, he mentioned in that letter that the Dominican order had been here since 1227 um, and had recently decided to pull out of the diocese. So when mother heard that, you know, she said, well, of course we have to go. So we were excited to be able to fulfill that, that need here in, in Limerick. A lot of our sisters had been, have Irish descent, you know, and so the community as a whole was so excited to be coming to Ireland to give back to all the Irish have given to us in America. The Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia was founded in 1860. In recent years, it has grown strongly. The Lord has blessed our order, um, our community very much, uh, especially since um, the, the Jubilee year in 2000, we've been growing. And um, this year, for example, we had 24 young women enter our community. Katrina from Ireland heard of them online. When I arrived in Nashville, I was just really struck by the joy of the sisters and just this beauty of their community life. I mean, it was irresistible. Uh, I just, I felt such a peace in my heart and I really felt that that was where the Lord wanted me to be. Back in Nashville, the nuns were part of a community of 170. It is very different here. We have a lot of fun together. A lot of people wonder, what do nuns do all day, you know? And um, while we do pray, you know, that's, that's part of it, but we also have a great, um, a great time just being together. <laughs> in Ireland, the sisters are tasked with running the parish of St. Saviour. It's deepened my faith in many ways because we're able to walk with people in a different way than you would in your students in a classroom. You know, people come to the parish for baptism, so we get to see them at that joyful time of new life. Um, and then weddings, you know, this, this hope of life together. Um, and then at end of life at funerals, you know, to be able to support and, and comfort people who are mourning. And I was very fond of the, the priests when they were here. I was so heartbroken when they left. But then when the sisters came, it was like a new breath of fresh air. And it was like, they gave, they gave it got just a lift to the place. I'm absolutely thrilled that the Dominicans are back in town. <laughs> We're here to support the priests, um, to be help, help you know, in whatever way we can, but we also fulfill a different role, our own role in the church. Um, and so we're very happy to be women religious in the church, a prophetic sign of heaven. You know, when people especially see the habit, they, um, they know there's something, there's something about you that you belong to God. And um, so we, we love to serve in that way, to bring people to the Lord, to remind them that you're called to be in heaven. This is Susan Gately for Catholic News Service with the Dominican Sisters of St. Cecilia in Limerick.